SFO travelers are facing more weather delays. The airport has some tips on how to get to your destination on time. Plus, Google agrees to a $700 million settlement. The antitrust allegations and why it could mean money in your bank account. I'm Audrey Assistio and this is Synced In. More problems at SFO this week, this time because of the lingering foggy and windy conditions. The FAA issued a ground delay for SFO on Tuesday, warning of delays of up to three hours. Started at 9 o'clock in the morning with several flight cancellations and about 10% of its flights experiencing delays. The average delay as of Tuesday morning was 15 to 30 minutes. Passengers we spoke to say so far things have moved pretty smoothly for them. On Monday, SFO was under a ground stop for about 90 minutes because of the wind. Nearly 500 flights were delayed at SFO with 10 cancellations. And SFO spokesperson recommends you book the first flight of the day if you're able because the airplane is usually already at the airport overnight and the FAA doesn't typically start delaying flights until 8 to 9 in the morning. Another possibly useful tip, check flights flying out of or into the other Bay Area airports, both Oakland and SJC have seen much less delays. Google has agreed to pay $700 million to all 50 U.S. states, including the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. The settlement comes as Google was accused of overcharging consumers through unlawful restrictions on the distribution of apps on Android devices. The Attorney General's office says the company created a monopoly under this setup. Under the terms of the settlement, eligible consumers will receive at least $2 and may get additional payments based on their spending on the Google Play Store between August 16th of 2016 and September 30th, 2023. The settlement still needs a judge's final approval. A unique and delicious thank you to our farm workers. It's called a tamalada. Dozens of volunteers giving the gift of food. The farm worker caravan spent Monday making 2,400 tamales in San Jose's Alum Rock neighborhood. On Wednesday, they'll deliver the tamales to farm workers and their families in Half Moon Bay. And show a little love to our farm workers who are working for us 365 days of the year and um, helping to bring food to our tables for the holidays. So this holiday, we're gonna bring food to their table. This is the third year the group has hosted the Tamalada. Some of the volunteers tell us that they used to be farm workers themselves or had parents who worked in the fields. That'll do it for us today on Sinkton. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again tomorrow.